And I'm here with Shari Lewis, who is one of the stars of Lamb Chop on Broadway. You've got it, only one of them. <laughs> Actually, this is a one-woman show with a cast of thousands. <laughs> what uh, can we expect to see? Um, it's a musical comedy, original book by Saul Turteltaub. Saul is one of the great comedy writers of Hollywood, and um, an original score, uh, beautiful songs. Ooh, are they good. And a lot of audience participation. I dare say this is one of, not the, but one of the first Broadway shows that, you know, book musical, that actually has audience participation. What, what does the audience have to do? Everything. They get up, they sit down, they clap, they sing, they um, make animal sounds. I mean, they really participate. Right. You've made participation a very important part of yes. your current uh, PBS program. Yes. Lamb Chop's uh, Sing Along, is it? Play, play Along, excuse me. You got it. Uh, Lamb Chop's Play Along, when I proposed it to uh, Jennifer Lawson at PBS, she jumped up and she said, oh, good. She said, this is going to be America's first anti-couch potato show. <laughs> And it is, an, it's an anti-couch potato show. I think that everybody is getting tired of being spectators. You go to a football game and everybody is doing things, the wave, the tomahawk, they're doing all kinds of activities. People don't just want to be spectators. Kids are more interested in their interactive and in their participative toys than they are in just pushing a button and letting a battery do stuff. So. We've created a show that is wall-to-wall -wall audience participation in Lamb Chop's Play Along here in New York. And uh, here in New York, we're on WNET. Right. Oh. Nine, nine o'clock weekday mornings, I think it is. Uh, I think it's earlier than that. Ooh. Yeah, I think we're eight o'clock in the morning. Okay. Well, yeah. one or the other. There's good stuff on PBS, so. Oh, is there ever. You know, PBS pulled off a miracle. For years, everybody has been saying, no, there's no way to do a successful um, quality children's show for young children. And so nobody did it. And um, there were occasional forays, you know, the Muppet Babies was beautiful. Then PBS put on this children's initiative and all of the shows succeeded. And they were all really good. I mean, whoever thought a show on geography would succeed, but there's Carmen Sandiego doing great. Uh, and Lamb Chops Play Along and Barney and all of those. So it was very interesting. Um, now the whole industry is rushing to fill the gap and everybody is doing quality kid stuff. But you've actually been doing it for, I think, since 1954, I think you told me before we started? Well, this year I'm celebrating my 40th anniversary as a children's television entertainer. And uh, it's really nice. This is a very nice year. Jimmy Niederlander Jr. bringing us to Broadway to the Richard Rogers and um, the 40th anniversary. And Lamb Chop says she's six years old and <laughs> she's been six for 36 years. So That's an even better record than Jack Benny. Yes. So when you started, there was no lamb chop. She came along later on? No, I was working with big dummies, big wooden dummies. And um, Captain Kangaroo took one look and said, don't you have anything that's little and delicate? Um, you're five feet tall, the dummy's <laughs> as big as you are. And I had lamb chop because uh, my father had said, if Mary has a little lamb, why shouldn't Sherry have a little lamb? And I was a teenager, so I was at high school music and art here in New York. So I, I said what every teenager says, oh, daddy, and walked away from it. And then the next person, somebody in the art department, who said, I want to make you a puppet. What shall I make? And I said, how about a lamb? Because it was the last thing in my ear. And um, she talked to me immediately. And I guess the rest is history. But you've had some other characters also, Hush Puppy. Well, Hush Puppy and Charlie Horse are in Lamb Chop on Broadway. Uh, they're very much a part of it. And the fun is that we have three dancers playing the big Hush Puppy and the big Lamb Chop and the big Charlie Horse as well, so that I get to dance with them, which really feels nice. It feels like I have a, I have a grown daughter. I work with her. It's a great joy working with your daughter. Well, I feel like I'm working with my daughter and my sons when I work with Lamb Chop and Charlie Horse and dance with them. It's a totally different experience. Is there anything you've noticed that's different now in children's television? It's obviously a little more high tech, perhaps, but have the, have the basics really changed? Yes, they've changed tremendously. Um, when I started, um, every station put on children's programs, and they were um, gentle. Gentle was the name of the game. And now they're quite violent. And in fact, there are countries like Canada and um, I think Australia that won't show uh, Power Rangers and a number of our other uh, shows on TV because they feel that they make kids aggressive and hostile. 
and we don't need to make our kids any more aggressive and hostile than they are. They're, all, they're already pretty wild? <laughs> well, you know, they are overstimulated. I don't mean that they're mean and vicious, although that is an end product of being hostile and aggressive. I mean that they're overstimulated by too much frantic and frenetic frenzy, and it isn't necessary. It's not necessarily a part of growing up. Do you do anything different now than you did years ago? Yes. Um, I used to have to slow down. I talk very fast. And everybody used to say, Sherry, slow down so the children can follow you. The kids have caught up to me. I don't have to slow down for them anymore. Kids are really with it. And I can talk fast and I can work fast. And you don't even have to complete your sentences, complete your thoughts. The kids are with you. They're quite wonderful that way. Carmen Sandiego, which you mentioned, originally started as a computer game. Yes. Do you ever envision Lamb Chop doing some sort of computer interactive uh, with children? We're doing it right now. Mm -hmm. We're in the process of creating it uh, with Philips. Uh, the first product will be out in about a year. You know, it takes a long time, and it costs a fortune to produce those games. I'm rather rattled by the amount of the investment, um, but it actually is, taking, is going to take almost a year. Do you do any uh, performing without Lamb Chop nowadays? Um, not since Lamb Chop's play along went on the air have I done much. Um, I'll be headlining at the Aloha Bowl on Christmas Day, ABC TV, 2.30 in the afternoon. And, but you in the past, you've conducted orchestras. Oh, I do a lot of that. But when I do that, I really perform with as well as conduct so that Lamb Chop is with me for the performance parts of it. I have to tell you, one song on your show, the song that does not end, Yes. I get together with my friends and we do sing-alongs. That's a very popular number. We're not quite sure how to stop once we start well, with Well, you know, it's one. not the song that never ends. It's the song that doesn't end. Doesn't end. And I have a version that's called the end <laughs> to the song that doesn't end. Uh, does it involve slamming doors? Or nope, is nope, nope. Ah, is it in the play? Or can, uh, how, do, how, do, how would we hear that one? I'll do it for you now. This is a, they sing, this is the song that doesn't end. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. Some people started singing it, not knowing what it was, and they'll continue singing it forever, but because, this is the end part. Um, this is a very special day. I've got a gift to send your way. And it's the kind of moment you will never see again, cause this is gonna be the long awaited moment when the band will play one final blast. And we will live in peace at last. And you will hear the song that doesn't end. Yum, dum, 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 end. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> What's in the future? Um, more Lamb Chops play along. We've been renewed, thank goodness. And we're doing um, a Hanukkah special, uh, prime time, uh, for next, for 95 uh, season. And uh, we- It takes a long time to put these things together. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. We're in the writing process on the Hanukkah show now. Um, and uh, so that's the kind of thing we're doing. Okay. Well, thank you very much. My pleasure. And I'm here with the other star of Lamb Chop on Broadway, the title star, Lamb Chop. Ta-da! <laughs> Hello. Who are you? I'm Charlie Gross. I do a show on the theater and... Uh, How come you do this show? Well, uh, honestly, because I really like theater a lot. And I started in um, when I was in college, and just the opportunity came along, and we decided to do the show, and I found uh, another guy who does it with me. What does the other guy do? You, you don't have another guy with you today. No, well, he's in the studio watching this right now, and we cover shows and we review them, kind of like Siskel and Ebert, only we cover uh, Broadway, which you are appearing on. Is that exciting or is that exciting? Ah! I'm excited. <laughs> Me too. The question that I have is, I notice, you know, you appear with Sherry Lewis, and you get the big, the top billing, the big lettering. Who's your agent? Sherry Lewis. <laughs> she, she doesn't, she doesn't ever get jealous of me. That's good. You guys, how long have you guys been working together? We, uh, well, um, about thir um, 36 years. And how old are you? I'm six years old, and I'm going to be six years old for the rest of my life. I like this. How did you manage that? I, I really work at it. <clears throat> um, I noticed you have, a, you have a television show. I have a television show and it's on PBS. I know how to spell PBS. PBS. <laughs> and you, um, you have kids, uh, kids participating in this they show. They participate with me all the time. 
Nice. How long have you been doing that show? Since, not, I, I don't know, three seasons and we just then renewed. I then renewed. I then renewed. Probably for a long time. It's a great show. I've actually watched the show. It's a wonderful show. Thank you very much. I just want to ask you to do one thing for what someone. What is that? I would like you to just look at the camera. I don't know where the camera okay, is. Okay, it's, it's that thing with the pretty girl standing okay, behind it. Okay, go ahead. It. And just say, Margie, I love you, a bushel and a peck. Who's Margie? Margie is my wife. She's expecting our first child. She's a big fan of yours. Oh, congratulations, and you're Thank adding you. to my audience. Absolutely. And I'm always grateful. We, we already have the lamb chop puppets uh, ready for the baby, if Margie doesn't uh, keep them for herself. Thank you. Margie, I love you. A bushel and a peck, a bushel and a peck, and a hugger. <laughs> Me too, Margie.